Welcome to NFL Total Access, and here's what's happening across the NFL right now. Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, they made their preseason debuts. Now they've gotten a chance to look at the film, how to both turn the page. Baker Mayfield drew first blood in the Buccaneers quarterback competition. Kyle Trask is in line to start this Saturday, but has the job already been decided? And one QB battle's already been won. The Colts named Anthony Richardson their starting quarterback, but is he really ready for QB1 status? Honestly, I was shocked. You know, uh, I've been grinding and putting in work just to, you know, get the title. But, you know, it's not really all about a title. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I'm ready for the team. You know, despite, you know, being labeled as QB1, you know, I still got other guys in the room helping me, you know, get to that standard. So, as of right now, I feel like I'm ready, but, you know, who's to say if I'm ready or not? Welcome to a brand new edition of NFL Total Access. It is presented by Best Buy. My camp, Sean O'Hara, James Palmer, Cam Wolf, Sarah Walsh, Tom Pelissero, to cast the thousands, or was that six names? Something along those lines. Point is, all of them will be with us over the course uh, at some point in this next hour because we got a lot of light to shine on some impressive rookies. But first, we're getting you ready for another full weekend of games here on NFL Network. And yes, the games keep coming fast and furious. It is week two of the preseason. Browns and Eagles on Thursday, Panthers and Giants still to come. By the way, conversation about Jalen Hurts and his offense coordinator, Brian Johnson, in just a couple moments here. Uh, and of course, since Sean O'Hara is on, you know we're going to talk about the G-Men. Of course, all of these games Saturday and Sunday live on NFL Network. Uh, some buzz around that Dolphin squad. Cam Wolf will also get give us his take on what's happening with Tua and what we can expect from him this upcoming season and really just how healthy this guy is. Meanwhile, though, biggest story today, the fact that Sean O'Hara is with us, the other big story, Colts naming Anthony Richardson, their starting quarterback for week number one. Sean, I've, I've heard both sides of this. I've heard you can't get better if you're sitting, and I've heard it's good for young quarterbacks to just sit and learn. You tell me, is Anthony Richardson for QB1 status? Yeah, Mike, listen, not all young quarterbacks are built the same, and they're not all ready at the same time. So, uh, look, I played with Eli Manning his rookie year. He didn't start until week 9 or week 10. Um, he just wasn't ready at the time, and we had Kurt Warner. So I think for Anthony Richardson and for the Colts, this makes perfect sense because he is their no number one and their best option. I think announcing it right now is actually great for Richardson because it makes it known this is his team. All right? He doesn't have to worry about, hey, I'm splitting reps with somebody else. I'm rotating. No, it's my huddle. It's my locker room. I can take command. And so I think that aspect of it is huge. Is Richardson ready? Well, I'll tell you what. In the first preseason game, the one thing he showed is physically he is ready. He's more than ready. Ask the corner from the Buffalo Bills that he ran over, Elam, on the sideline. So physically, this kick can happen. Here's what the play I'm talking about right here. Boom. See ya. Guess what? He's not running out of bounds. So physically, he can protect himself. I also think Shane Steichen knows my offense is more dynamic with him at quarterback because of the run play aspect, the read option aspect. They're a better team because of it. I think hopefully the run game benefits from that as well. But Anthony Richardson, he can't get enough reps. This is a great move for him. The confidence boost. And also now let's go play and let's learn. Yeah, even when you look at those numbers, the 7 and 12, 67 yards passing that interception, I, I know that doesn't scream like, oh, my God, how ridiculously was he? But you see some of those highlights, man, physically, he's a lot of fun to watch. And we saw that certainly in college. And Colts fans are going to see that in week number one as the team starts.